Hi, this is Ram from ramkelem.com. In this video, we are going to learn the concept of self-join. Before we begin, let me just say that this lesson is based on Northwind database, not the regular database I use for demonstrations, ACDB. So in order to switch to Northwind database, we will type use Northwind, go. Note how the current database will be changed once I hit the execute button. Inside the Northwind database, we have several different tables. One of these tables is called employees. Let's start by selecting the entire table just to quickly review its contents. So let's type select star form employees. As you can see, this table contains different columns that represent the data of the company's employees. We can see columns such as first name, last name, higher date, city, region, etc. Now let's select only the columns we are interested in. So let's say select employee ID, last name, reports to from employees. We are getting the employee ID, his or her's last name, and the ID of their manager. If we will take a closer look at the data of these columns, we will note that this table actually stores hierarchical information. Let me explain. Employee number two is reporting to no one. Probably this is the CEO. Employees one, three, four, five, and eight report to employee number two. And employees six, seven, and nine report to employee number five. Instead of having different tables that represent data of CEOs, vice presidents, managers, employees, and so on, we have one single table that stores this hierarchy using the reports to column. Now, let's clearly understand the logic of this hierarchy. What is the manager name of employee number one? Let's see. We know that the manager ID of employee number one is two. And the name of employee number two is Fuller. So the manager name of the volio is Fuller. Another example, what is the manager name of employee number seven? Again, we know that the manager ID of employee number seven is five. And the name of employee number five is Buchanan. So the manager name of King is Buchanan. We can sum up and say, we know the manager's name of each employee by comparing the manager ID of the employee with the employee ID of the manager. This concept is very important to understand in order to proceed to our next step. Now, let's try to write a query that represents this connection. A query that displays the name of the employee alongside his manager name. Let's type select form on from employees let's provide it the alias amp join employees again this time let's provide it the alias men manager this is the main concept of the self join we are calling the same table twice at the join statement each time with a different alias let's proceed at the on statement let's say on amp dot reports to equals to man dot employee id this is the connection we have just explained now at the select clause let's say m dot employee id we want to see the employee id we also want to see the employee last name we want to see the manager id and we also want to see the manager last name. Let's execute. And as you can see, we got the expected results, the employee name alongside his manager name. This concept may be quite confusing, so let me try to visualize it. We took the employees table and called it twice. 
once using the amp alias, once using the men alias. Then we joined this table to itself by the following on clause. We said amp.managerID equals to men.employeeID. And from each table, we chose to display these columns. So for example, at the same row of employee number one, the volume, the join statement displayed Fuller. Since this connection answer the on statement, amp manager ID equals to manager employee ID. Fuller, as we know, is the manager of the volume. In the same way, for employee number six, Suyama, the join statement displayed Buchanan, because again, this connection answers the matching condition we defined at the on statement. And this goes on. Now, if you pay a closer look, you can see that the join statement didn't retrieve employee number two, Fuller, the CEO. Why? Let's execute the previous query. Fuller, as you can see, has no manager ID. So this inner join cannot display him. Remember what we learned in the previous lesson. The inner join can display only rows with matching values on both tables. In this case, only employees with managers. So in order to display all employees, including those without managers, we can use the left outer join. So let's copy this statement. And this time, let's say left outer join. Let's execute again. And this time we are getting all of the employees, including those without any manager. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned the concept of self-join. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramcadem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.